Abraham goes to Egypt for the first time when there's a famine in the land, we tend to think of Abraham concerned about idol worshipping because he was the entrepreneur of monotheism. And according to um, archaeologists and uh, biblical archaeology and history, somehow... Um, they identify as in mono, the monotheism, the origin of monotheism actually in Egypt, somehow. But nonetheless, Abraham took that concept and brought it to a different level. So we can say, oh, they were idol worshipping and God was a, 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 a monotheist. Okay, I don't, I know what it means maybe in philosophy, but I don't know what it means in practicality. Really what we know in practicality that to believe in one God is believing that the good and the bad, or what we perceive as good and bad, come from the same place. That's why it's very, very important to remember in a monotheistic mindset that we're not battling someone or something outside us ultimately. Ultimately, all these forces come from one. And we are really battling the forces in ourselves. So tshuva, returning to God, is returning in ourselves and not running away 